Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Throwback Gaming, and these are my four Firewatch theories. Like now I must warn you, there are heavy spoilers in this video, so if you've not played the game or do not want to see spoilers, then go ahead and pause the video right now. Alright, now that I got that out of the way, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Number 1. Everything in Firewatch takes place in Henry's head after the intro. This theory suggests that Henry gets a little drunk at the town bar and on his way home gets in an accident which puts him in a coma and everything else that you see in Firewatch is through his imagination while he's in that coma. Number 2. Delilah is a manifestation of what Julia meant to Henry. There are many parallels between Delilah and Julia. Henry wakes up in the middle of the night hearing Julia's voice over the radio in a highly lucid night walking episode. Delilah even calls Henry a big dummy in the same way Julia would call him a big idiot. In fact, a lot of Delilah's dialogue sounds extremely similar to things Julia would say. It's almost as if Delilah is another manifestation of Julia in Henry's mind. Number 3. The world progressively gets more burned as the game goes on. This symbolizes Henry's degrading problems in real life and his inability to control and cope with Julia's fate. This can also be tied to our first theory. The fires could be related to the car crash that could be happening as Henry is unconscious. Because Harry is dreaming, this is why you don't ever see other people close up or inspect items in detail such as opening books. Number 4. The Ending If we assume that Henry did indeed get in a car crash at the beginning of the game and he's just imagining all of this happening in Firewatch, then the fact that he was in a car accident might make more sense with the ending falling flat as he was being pulled back into the world of the living. Delilah tells him to go back to Julia and face reality, something that Henry subconsciously knows he must do. In the end, he gets on the air vac and sees a person up close for the first time in the entire game. Now again, assuming that he was dreaming all of this, I think this part of the game happened simultaneously in real life and merged with Henry's delusional dreams as he was medevaced to a hospital after his crash. From there, Henry will wake up to come back to reality to handle his personal and relationship challenges. Well guys, those were my four Firewatch theories. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give a thumbs up and subscribe to get more content just like this. And as always, I will see you in the next video.